How's it going to, again, team? So I'm going to be posting this other video here. This is just going to be running through the same procedure that we pretty much just did, except we're going to be getting the squat protocol data from the exercise-induced muscle damaging sessions from the ET1 and ET2 trials. Um, so to do this one, we're going to need a different template. So before, we used this IMD FAM squat protocol template. For this one, we're going to be using just the IMD squat protocol calculation template. So this one is for the actual exercise trials. This one is for the organization. So we're going to open this one up. And just like last time, we're also going to have our master data file open. So our master data file is open. You had to have this open previously. Again, you click on these websites to take us to the respective websites. Um, but I already have these open, so we don't need to do this step again. But if you hadn't done this, yes, you can click on the websites to take us to the correct websites. Now, for this one, pretty much the same thing. We're going to click on whatever user at whatever time point we want. We're going to hit sessions. We're going to go to whatever time point it is. We're going to hit view graphic, download the CSV file. Once that CSV file is downloaded, we're going to pull up our analysis tool, pull up our file explorer, go to that new downloaded CSV file, drag it in. We see here that there's a lot more data for these squat protocols. That's because we should have six sets of, six sets of 10 repetitions. Now we see here, this one has 11. So this one would be one where you let me know that there's an error and I need to test and check and get it fixed. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to ignore this last rep. So what you would do again is you would grab and you would highlight all this data. I'm not going to highlight this last row because that's an error, but usually you would highlight all of this data. And you're going to hit copy. And then you're going to go into the templates. Go into the template and where it says paste below, you're going to right click there and you're going to paste massive matching destination theme once again. Again, make sure you are pasting this in the correct spot, otherwise it's going to mess up all of this formatting. So make sure you're pasting right below the paste below. Um, in the familiarization protocol one, you're actually just pasting in the top left corner, but for this one, we're pasting right here. Now again, we're just gonna go through and we're going to highlight all of this data, right? And make sure you're not highlighting past the numbers. Highlight all that data, copy, go to our master data file, we're going to scroll all the way over to where it says squat protocol power. Again, we're going to paste it into its respective spots. So for this case, um, we're going to be pasting it here. So we're going to paste all of our values. You see it's pasting all the way in for ET1. And then we're going to go back to our data outputs, grab all of the force values, hit copy, go back to the um, match data file, and then make sure we click on the squat protocol force tab. And then we can paste values into the squat protocol force tab and throws. So you do that here, but essentially the same, it's the same concept as before. So again, you just paste values. We would see all the values fill in for ET1. And then you can do it again for ET2, or you could do it all the way down for each individual participant. So essentially, it's the same exact procedure. It just looks a little different, specifically this step right here, because there's a lot more data. Um, and this one here, there's a lot more data to highlight here. Again, make sure you're highlighting all the data. The only reason I skipped this bottom one is because there's an error. But you highlight all that data, copy it into the template. It says paste below, get all these values, copy the power into the master data sheets power tab and copy the force into the master data sheets force tab. And essentially, like I said, same procedure, very simple, just copy and paste, regurgitate, um, rinse and repeat, and do this over and over. Make sure you're paying attention though, as you're doing this, that you're not messing up the formatting, because once the formatting is messed up, the rest of that output would be incorrect. So just be double checking as you go to make sure that you are putting everything in the same spot. I know that sounds ridiculous and you wonder how you could get messed up. Just double check to make sure it doesn't happen, all right? Otherwise, that's the end of this video. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, make sure you text or call me.